founding father, the first Prime Minister of Singapore, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Mr. Lee, as we all know, was highly regarded for his visionary leadership and selfless determination in building and shaping Singapore into what it is now. Students, alumni, fellow Singaporeans, we are deeply saddened by the passing of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, who was Singapore's first Prime Minister from 1959 to 1989. Mr. Lee was also Senior Minister from 1990 to 2003 and Minister Mentor from 2004 to 2011. He continued to serve Singapore as Member of Parliament of Tanjong Pagar GRC after 2011. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew devoted his entire life to Singapore, rallying Singaporeans to build a nation and a hope that we can all be proud of. Singapore has thus become a secure and stable home where we work, study and play with our families and friends. When Singapore gained independence in 1965, many thought Singapore would not survive on its own. It was a small island city-state with no natural resources. The standard of living was low. There was a rapidly growing population, high unemployment, and only a small defense force. For Singapore to survive, Mr. Lee knew that Singapore and Singaporeans had to be extraordinary. He set high expectations for himself and his team of leaders to create an honest and effective government to gain the trust of the people. Mr. Lee led a life of prudence himself, exemplifying the virtues of humility and integrity. Mr. Lee pursued a vision of a city-state where all Singaporeans have equal and ample opportunities to seek a fulfilling future. Working towards that vision, he focused on building a safe and secure Singapore, a strong defence force and friendly relations with other countries kept Singaporeans safe. To secure a livelihood for Singaporeans, Mr. Lee and his team laid foundations for a dynamic economy that propelled Singapore to first world status. He was not afraid to try out novel ideas when he believed that they were right for Singapore. He opened Singapore's doors to multinational companies when other newly independent countries hesitated. The impact of this decision had and continues to shape uh, Singapore's economic growth tremendously. Mr. Lee believed in the importance of harmony among different communities as the basis for a national cohesion. He made it possible for Singaporeans to afford a home of their own. He also pursued for Singapore's transformation into a garden city because he believed that a clean and green Singapore will make a better home for Singaporeans. Together with his team, Mr. Lee believed strongly in providing opportunities for all to receive quality education. He supported bilingualism as a key pillar of national unity. He and successive generations of leaders focused on developing vocational and technical education as a key strategy for ensuring Singapore's economic and social progress. In 1998, he donated $555,000 from the proceeds of the special edition of his memoirs to set up three D1 New Awards for IT students, namely LKY Technology, Co-Curricular and Model Student and Trainee Awards. Our three top graduates also received the D1 New Gold Medal at the annual IT 
graduation ceremony. We were also very honoured to have hosted Mr and Mrs Lee at ITE College East on 21st February 2018. During the visit, Mr and Mrs Lee showed great interest in the well-being and aspiration of our students, their family life, what they learned at ITE, and their career prospects. Mr. Lee once said that Singaporeans are Singapore's key asset. We stand together as Singaporeans today to celebrate Mr. Lee's life and to reflect on his and Singapore's journey as a nation. During this week, your class advisors and lecturers will be guiding and encouraging you to also take time to talk about Mr. Lee and reflect on his life and contributions with family, friends and fellow students. Mr. Lee was known as a man of his words and a man of action. Beyond words, we can all, all celebrate his life through actions as we all play our part as Singaporeans to make Singapore an even better home for us and our fellow Singaporeans. Now, as a mark of respect, let us now observe a minute of silence to reflect on Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's immense contributions to the building of modern Singapore. Thank you. 